Okay, John Bedini here. Here I'm to show you now, this is day four on this cell, and it's reacting to temperature now, but it's stabilized. And uh, I just want to report that this is the best one there is. And uh, it's already out down a NICAD battery here. I'll let you see the meter. And the current's even up on it. And I'll see if I can get a close shot of this current here. So it's uh, about 2.2 milliamps. And this is the star shell again. And uh, it's pretty well stabilized. But it's reacting now to the pressure changes and the surrounding radiation. So I'll just show you that we're out of space on the computer. We're over uh, almost 250,000 samples here. And it stays pretty constant. And I just touched that cell and you can see it's fluctuating. So I just want to share this with you. That this seems to be the mixture that works the best with the magnesium. I'll let you see the meter again. And here's the cell. And the current. And it stays pretty stable. It also does fluctuate with pressure changes, which I would expect it to do with the Rigel salt crystal and so I just want to tell you don't try to make Rochelle salts you you won't get the same results you need to get them from a chemical house that does it because the cream of tartar in the grocery stores is not cream of tartar anyway I thought I'd share this with you but happy building and this is what you should get thanks for watching